Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a two years long term review of my Black Bay 36. I have owned this piece for about two years now and it has proven to be one of my most favorite watches in my collection. It is one of my favorite entry level luxury watch if you will. Well, I might be a little biased here as this piece is my first foray into luxury watches. I did an initial review video when I first started the channel. I'll put a link in the top right corner of this video if you are interested to check that uh, amateurish, you know, initial video that I put out like a few years back. There are a lot of things I like about this piece. And I think there is just too much for me to like. So I'm going to start with something I do not like. Well, maybe I shouldn't say I do not like, but I, I should say that something I wish it could be better. First, it's going to be the luck width. With a case of 36 millimeters, Tudor somehow decided to go with a 19 millimeters luck width. It's not the end of the world, but the number of straps would be limited. Anyhow, I ended up investing in a few 19mm watch straps. And by a few, <laughs> I actually meant a lot. I tried to wear this on the supplied NATO. Yes, it comes with the supplied NATO straps and also several other watch straps. But I keep coming back to the bracelet. I think it looked best on its bracelet. And talking about the bracelet brings us to another area I wish Tudor could have done a little better. That would be the clasp. Let me just try to close the clasp. As you can see, the clasp is actually quite big here. And uh, having a small 6 inch wrist makes it wear a little under heavy. Well, I will do a wrist shot later on and we can decide or can see how or what I meant by under heavy. Um, the, as I mentioned, the, the clasp is a little too long, but when we open up, there is another problem that contributes to the under heavy situation here. As you can see, uh, with the watch unbuckle or unfasten, this final link is always stuck at an odd angle with reference to the clasp. Well, don't get me wrong, the clasp is really very nice. It's nicely made, you know, you can see the Tudor branding and it comes with ceramic ball bearings that should ensure that uh, it will last a lifetime. But it's just the way this final link attached to the clasp that makes it wear a little under heavy. I'm going to put the watch on my wrist here to show you what I meant by uh, under heavy. Well, I'm not sure if you can see this. <laughs> I'm straining myself here. Well, you can see that on the underside of my wrist, uh, of my wrist the clasp is actually longer than my the width of my wrist and it is actually wider than how the watch case or the watch head sits on my wrist so that is what i meant by under heavy so those are two areas i wish tudor could have done better and really that's about it right there's nothing else i wish they could do better so uh, before we move on i'm gonna put this piece on a time graffer and show you how this watch is performing uh, even after two years without any servicing. Okay, so from the time graffer result, I think the watch is still performing very good. Uh, with, a, with a very small beat error and a very good accuracy even after uh, two years. So, uh, yep, this watch is powered by an ETA2824, but it's modified and regulated by Tudor. It is not some in-house movement, but that's the beauty of it. Being a common workhorse Swiss-made movement, the long-term cost of ownership in terms of servicing the watch could be kept low. 
Well, I say it could, but I'll be most likely sending this back to Tudor for servicing when the time comes. We'll see. At 36mm, the number feels small on paper for today's watch size, but to me, it is just the perfect size. I think it will not feel too small on a, on a majority of wrist sizes. As for the unguarded big crown, I was a little bit concerned of it getting in the way initially. However, it turns out to be something I enjoy. Being able to see the slightly black band just in between the crown and the watch case is something really interesting to me. It gives the watch, I would say, a little character and it gives this Black Bay 36 its identity as a Tudor Black Bay, if you know what I mean. Yes, the dial together with the snowflake hand do give it that identity, identity as well. And I have to say, the dial and the hand combination is the most enjoyable part of the watch for me. Well, they have to be as they are the main focus of my eyes every time I read the time. The glossy black dials give the watch a bit of class and a little less tooly in terms of its appearance. Turning the watch over, you can see that it has a pretty beat up case back. That's from the bracelet scratching the case back when I travel with the watch on a normal watch roll that does not have a lining. Well, what, I mean, what did I mean by lining? Well, uh, when I initially bought like a watch roll or, or something to travel or a watch pouch to travel with the watch, some of them, they do not come with this uh, lining or backing where you can slide it in between the bracelet and the watch case before putting in the pouch. So that is where all the uh, scratches came from. Yep, the Lux are pretty beat up too from my initial amateurish attempt to remove the bracelet. The bracelet fits to the case very, very snugly. It's a sign of high precision machining where they have very tight tolerances. On the overall, I don't think the scratches made me love the watch less. I think it makes me love the watch even more as all the scratches reminded me of my passion of not only in owning watches but the courage of playing with them and traveling with them. So, there you have it. If you are looking into getting a first luxury or first entry level luxury watches, this is something that I would strongly recommend. It is truly a versatile watch that can be worn in almost any occasion. You can even take it for swimming if you want to because it comes with 150 meters of water resistance. All right, that's it for this long-term review video. Well, if you like this kind of video, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know I can make more of such kind of a video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It does help me a lot. And you can also follow me on my Instagram at gfw underscore watch. Till then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.